Welcome to the 100% normal shiny Pokemon locations in the teal mask. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, just make sure to check out the timestamps down below over here. Also, I'm linking a playlist to every single Pokemon typing we can find in the teal mask, as well as all the Pokemon types in Paldea. So go check those out if you need to find a specific Pokemon type. Now, the recipe for this sandwich that I'm going to use is going to be one chorizo and two salty Herba Mysticas. Feel free to comment down below alternate sandwich recipes for anyone else to see if they are low on salty herbas. That's some big meat. <laughs> Dang, he eating them chorizos, man. You know you've done this sandwich correctly if you see sparkling power normal level three and encounter power normal level three. Also remember that you can use encounter power level two normal sandwiches if you don't have the sparkling ones. They work just as well. Another very important thing to note to have turned on is the double home zoom in feature. This will help you a lot in identifying small shinies. In order to do this, all you have to do is open up your home menu, go to settings, go all the way down to system, scroll down from system, and then you're gonna find the zoom button right over here make sure to turn that on and then you could just double press home quick in order to zoom in on certain pokemon let's get hunting all right if you're looking for a munchlax location it's gonna be over here so right to the east of wisteria pond so go all the way here and you're gonna see this colored rock formation here now it's gonna be straight over here this is exactly the spot where you get it. And you got your normal sandwich on. And I am playing Pokemon Violets. So you are seeing Apoms right now on my screen. But this brown rock formation, you just notice a bunch of Munchlax. Now, don't also forget that Munchlaxes are also straight up in the grass over there. So I want you to keep that in mind. And this is what the shiny looks like for Munchlax. And this is what it looks like or Snorlax. You're gonna have to be able to find a darker color, but I've noticed they do like spawning on these rocks. Like nothing else really spawns up here when you have the normal sandwich. So uh, that's something you could probably use to your advantage. The best technique I would say is probably like despawn them out. Like right there, I just despawned a whole group of Munchlax out. And if you wanna avoid spawns on the right side, you probably wanna fly a little bit more like this or drop down and climb up here. That way you can get your Munchlax spawns in on this side. So like here I am, I'm hanging out. You got some Munchlax spawns coming in. And for those who don't know, if there's a little amount of something, which you are also probably be using for APOMs, this is how exactly you do the date skip trick. You're going to go ahead and open up your mini map just like this. And you can obviously see that there's terror raid dens on your map. And you can see that there are mass outbreaks on this map. So if you don't know what the date skip trick is, basically you want to do is open up your mini map like this. Zoom out like about one more time just so you can see overall what's happening and if there's any mass outbreaks on your map. And after you do that then you're going to go ahead hit the home button go to settings go down from settings into system then go into date and time make sure your synchronized clock is off and this date is clearly wrong wow let's uh let's fix that Dude, this is also a time skipping method while i'm recording this video and you just have to go one minute back that way you're on the legal date and you're just changing it by one minute which shouldn't really affect anything and you can see the raid dens shifted new mass outbreaks have spawned and you pretty much want to keep doing that until you roll a munchlax on your map so that'll make it a lot easier if you're struggling with these amounts of munchlax but overall this is the spot where you would probably hunt your munchlax down it is a normal type and they do spawn in this area so just check the grass check these hills and you should be able to get yourself a shiny munchlax if you do all this so while playing pokemon violet i just bumped into munchlax right over here exactly where we thought it would be and let's go see it oh nice there it is yeah this is why you need to subscribe because like look at that got you a good spot for munchlax this is great and premier ball and caught the next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Sentret and its evolution. Now, this is going to be a time dependent hunt. You want to make sure that you're doing this from dusk to dawn. So as it's starting to turn orange in the sky, it's pretty much your signal for when this is going to kick in. You go to this location, go from the Kinikami all down in the circle platform. When you're at this flying point, face this rock over here, and then you're just going to hop down on your Coridon just like that until you see a cave entrance. There's the cave entrance over there. So I'm just going to dive down. There we go go and enter into the cave as you can see there is so many centric in this room 
uh, including its evolution ferret. So what you want to do is go ahead to an opposite corner of the wall, just like this, hop off your mount. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and picnic reset for the shiny. Now, Entret is going to be a little more gold yellowish color and ferret is going to be a pink color. I know this was a highly requested Pokemon that people wanted, and this is probably going to be the fastest method of getting it. As you can see straight down on this wall over here, they're all just spawning out a bunch of them. They're just coming out. Look at that. Just flowing out. Now, if you want to picnic reset once they all come out, you can do that. Some other people could possibly send in a Pokemon to auto battle and you could just chillax and wait over here as they keep spawning in. That's also another option. Let's see if I could send my Iron Valiant down there. There we go. I'm just going to back up. So they can all just spawn in and I can pretty much just AFK here as well. Totally up to you, though, if you want to do picnic reset after you get a bunch of them coming out. So let me know what you're going to decide. And I'm just going to wait here until I get a shiny. OK, I've decided to do the picnic reset. Seems a lot easier to have them all just come out while being on the opposite side of the wall. That might be better. Oh, snap. OK, we uh, it looks like it looks like I got the shiny. Oh, my goodness. All right, come here. Come here. Where are you going? Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. And just like that, the technique works. So picnic reset might be better than fighting because you get a bunch of them coming at once and they all can just disappear. Nice. Now, another spot that you can hunt these shiny Pokemon is from all the way up here in Loyalty Plaza. So what you want to do is kind of just angle yourself right outside the fence border of Loyalty Plaza. And as soon as it says Apple Hills, you'll start to see spawns in front of you just like this. So this is pretty cool to use as a kind of a quote unquote town reset method, as you can see how many are in front of me, especially at nighttime. You get a good amount of these at night. During the day, sometimes you get the Starlies and that's kind of annoying, but um. Nighttime, definitely a great hunt. No other things in your way. And check this out. Ready? Just pop like this. Pop back from Loyalty Plaza. Go right back to the Apple Hills. Face down. Yeah, that one. That one's lagging out really bad. So you should be able to easily get a nice shiny with this amount of spawns and how fast you can just do this over and over again. So good luck getting your shiny centric, whether you want to do it via that cave method or you want to do it via the town reset method. Both are really great. If you want shiny luck like that, you should probably hit that subscribe button so you can see when the next video drops and let me know which one you want to see next. So Starlies are everywhere in this game. They spawn everywhere when you have the normal sandwich on and it can be a little bit annoying. One spot that you can go to is the Moscow Confluence. There are single spawns and some family spawns that do happen to show up here, but there is another location that kind of pumps them out at a rapid rate. So let's go over there. All you have to do is head over to the Fallen Horn fast travel point and it's going to be this simple. Jump in the water and yeah, there you go. You're going to see how many are just spawning around. Literally, it's going to be all three of its evolution lines. Now, just so you don't get confused or mess up and miss an opportunity, here is what the shinies look like on screen. So this is the baby form, the second evolution and the third evolution. And all three of them actually spawn in this area. Now, there's simple tricks to go ahead and try to get a shiny for these. All you simply got to do is just whim around. Don't go too fast because you don't want to miss any of the spawns coming out, but just go at a decent enough pace where you'll start to see them to show up. Just anywhere in this water is all you need to do. So if you're tired of just roaming the water and you want to just sit back and kind of spawn things in, well, then just go to this piece of grass over here located right in this spot and you could kind of just face the water so you see the spawns all in front of you it's your picnic get out your picnic and pretty much they'll start to spawn in front of you and that's all you have to do if you want to hunt but i prefer to roam around in the water i think it's a lot better now if you want to hunt a hoot hoot or knocked owl i suggest that you come to the moss fell confluence all the way to the bottom right of the map there's a quick flying location to come here and at nighttime you're going to get a bunch of open field hoot hoot and knocked owls during the day it was all the uh starly families in this open area but at nighttime oh you get a good amount of hoo hoots popping up now there's two ways of going about this pretty much you can either just roam around get them to all spawn in or find a good spot and then just picnic reset to see the entire field i think it's a lot easier that way and here are the shinies on screen so the hoo hoot obviously is going to be much more yellow and knocked owl with that coloring is going to be very obvious so just go around picnic reset in this area during the night. So the big problem is then how do we hunt Hoot Hoot during the day if they despawn? Well, 
there's actually a location that we can head to where I can show you exactly how we're going to get a shiny hoot hoot. So open up your map and right from Mosfell Confluence, go all the way up here and you're going to find this little piece of land right here. Just go ahead and mark that up. Once you get close, you should see it look like that. This is the entrance and this works during the day and this works during the night. So pretty much when you walk in, you're going to see, oh, look at that, a bunch of Hoot Hoot. There's a Knocked Owl, more Hoot Hoot. And yeah, you can just see how many are in this cave. There is a lot of them. Now you can auto battle them or I like to just quickly reset. So I'll hop on my mount and I'll just jump over here to this tree real quick. I'll just get far enough so that they can despawn. And then I'll just make my way back towards the cave, walk back in and we should get a bunch of different spawns. There we go. A whole new group. Now you can tell you despawn them because the patterns and where they're going to be are going to shift completely differently. So you saw that the left and right. Let me head back over here again. And then I'm going to jump back just like this and enter into here. And you're going to continue to just keep doing this over and over until you get your shiny. So good luck getting your shiny Hoot Hoot and Knocked Owl. If you just want to hunt Greedent by itself with no other normal Pokemon spawning around it, well, I've got the place for you. It's going to be in the Kitakami Wildlands area, which is going to be right before the forest so the entrance to the forest is here and the wildlands are going to be right outside of it that's the best designated spot i could tell you so wherever you're going to enter the forest is the opposite of that and these guys are literally everywhere now the annoying part about this pokemon is that the shiny variant is very close in colors it's just a little bit lighter and i know shading in this game sometimes can really affect that i struggle with that when it comes to mimic you because mimic you seems to always look like a shiny when it walks in the shade so you'll probably notice it compared to the other ones. So yeah, that's pretty much the spot where you need to go. Since there are so many that do happen to spawn, you can auto battle or you can happen to picnic reset this Pokemon, which should be pretty easy for you. So there you go. Good luck. Yeah, this is probably the best way to get greeted. The next normal Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Dunsparce and the Dunsparce. Now to get to the place that we're going to go to, you're going to head over from Kitikami Hall and come out all the way to the top over here. From this spot, you're going to look at that little hole up there and we're going to head right into that cave, which is the very big cave that Pheasantipity also leads into. But this is just a quick one that you can access from via the town instead of jumping around to that Pheasantipity spot. So let me hop up here and we will enter what is known as the Chilling Waterhead. And in this cave, you're going to bump into Dunsparce and the Dunsparce. So let's just go over here. There we go. They have started to spawn already. So there's your Dunsparce. You can look down. You see some more Dunsparce. I believe the Dunsparce also spawns when I jumped in here. I did see it. Whether it spawns or not, I don't know when it's going to come in. But it definitely is here. I have not seen three segmented form in this cave. So let me know if you do happen to spot it, though. But yeah, to pretty much hunt this, you're just going to have to despawn them in and out by moving around them. This is not the best Dunsparce or the Dunsparce hunting spot because area zero on the basement floor is a lot better than coming out here. So just keep this in mind. The shinies are obviously right over here. Uh, they're pink. This is just a regular Paldea shiny. But I just wanted to make sure you guys know about this hunting spot if you happen to want to come over here and just grab one. If you enter the Timeless Woods in Pokemon Scarlet, you'll get a bunch of Stantlers. You'll get Greedence. You'll get Indeedees. Pretty much a bunch of normal Pokemon. It's not really something exclusive to one Pokemon here. It's a little chaotic. But if you're playing Pokemon Violet, it gets even more chaotic because you have a version exclusive A palm that exists in your game so you not only do you have to deal with all these regular shiny hunts but you have to deal with a palms which is your version exclusive and the worst part is a palm pretty much shows up everywhere so if you're trying to get more secluded hunts pokemon scarlet might be it but of course you know us scarlet players are missing a palm so just keep that in mind and that's how chaotic this forest is in case you want to go for a an all-purpose hunt with stantler greedent indeedies and if you're playing violet a pom. Now for Pokemon Violet players, I did mention that Ambipom is pretty much all over the place in terms of where it spawns. It's just really random, but I felt like the best spot was really close to where the Munchlax spawn was. So this is one of the spots I like looking at. So Munchlaxes are here, but you also get a good fair of Ambipom showing up. Uh, as you can see, there's one there. There's a couple over here on this side. So this is this is a, a spot I like. I notice I get uh, more than often a couple of them here, but it could be random. Something 
something else that you could do is you could run down this entire field all the way up and down here. They do spawn up until here, so you can keep going up and down. They are random though, but I think it's a good way to spot one and look at the color of it. It's going to be very obvious when you do spot the shiny because it's not going to be your average purple. Another spot that you could hunt Ambipom is via Reveler's Road. As you can see, it is popping up on the sides here. So if you enter Reveler's Road and just do the little offshoots from it, you'll get some that show up here and there. You can see Stantlers are showing up here. I also noticed another good amount of them if we go further up this road and we head toward these bamboo tree areas to the left of them ish so we'll have stantlers pop in like i said in pokemon scarlet over here but you'll get ambipom spawning here too as well with the stantlers so there you go there's some ambipoms here over there so violet i guess would be a dual hunting area so yeah just explore revelers road and if anyone actually found a way better spot for ambipoms let me know in pokemon violet because it is rough to find like a really good spawn and as it's just randomly mixed in the pool that's the only problem with version exclusives and open world it just it ruins it man it's just like these spawn huntings for certain pokemon but yeah this is also another spot where i noticed monkey does spawn so bamboo tree areas on revelers road offshoots and by munchlax so good luck hunting it and getting your shiny ambipon now stantler is going to be one of those normal type pokemon that just are appearing everywhere along with these guys quo vet so they're all rng all over the place now you can roam around revelers road to go ahead and look for one of these and like i said there's a lot of random spawns even centrit but i've noticed settlers like spawning over by these trees they tend to spawn more by the bamboo trees this one specifically right north of revelers road from the town i noticed you get quite a few more than the average amount so if you're in pokemon scarlet this would be a great location to hunt if you're in pokemon violet it's going to be kind of mixed with a bunch of ambipom so you want to just be careful of that but scarlet players won't have much of a problem hunting down these guys as you can simply just picnic reset to get an entire group of them to spawn and here's what the shiny looks like and if you do want to evolve it as of this video in the teal mask and in pokemon scarlet you're going to have to send it to Pokemon Legends Arceus in order to evolve it into Weird Deer. Good luck hunting your shiny Stantler. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is Tandemouse. There it is. And Tandemouse in Paudea actually had a decent spot. It was mixed with Iglybuff, so it made hunting it a little bit more difficult. Now, here's what the shiny for Tandemouse looks like on screen. You can see it just has brown uh, colored clothing instead of the bluish. So this entire area, which is gonna be located right here in the Paradise Barrens is gonna contain Tandemouse. And all you gotta do is just look for a shiny one. Now, a trick that some people use is they like to go to a higher place so they can spawn in a bunch of Pokemon below them. Like I said, for Tandemouse, all you have to do is just really zoom in and see the brown body. So you can picnic reset on top of these hills or just roam around the entire area being careful and spawning them in until you see the brown pants. I do suggest doing this in the daytime as it's easier to see if it's brown or blue colored and they're not hidden in tall grass. If you need one and you did not catch one in Paldea, definitely come to this area to catch one. Oh, and also don't forget that it has a one out of a hundred chance to evolve into three family mouse holds. So just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to hunting in DD, I noticed that this area, which is going to be the Gracious Stones, has more indeedies than the average amount that i've noticed now of course this is mixed up with other hunts this is another spot that you can go for munchlaxes here i've noticed some greedants spawn here as well maybe you want a good location this is definitely it when you roam around you will see indeedy spawn over here now indeedy is a normal psychic so we'll probably be able to get this spawning with gardevoir in the psychic video but we're going to confirm that in that video so yeah if you want to go for that this is a location to get indeedy now indeedy he has two forms the male and the female one so they are different in looks so you can keep that in mind while you are shiny hunting here and like i said again there are other pokemon here as well but i just noticed there's a good amount of a uh, indeedies versus the other pokemon here now you got all your normal pokemon the teal mask you should check out this video over here